This video talks about the mean arterial pressure calculation equations. Now, what exactly does mean arterial pressure mean? Mean arterial pressure mean is the average of the arterial pressure. So the average of the arterial pressure can be determined by the average of one cardiac cycle and the central venous pressure. These two together makes a mean arterial pressure. Now, how do we calculate one average cardiac cycle? What we do is we take the cardiac output times total peripheral resistance. That will give us one average cardiac cycle pressure plus the central venous pressure. Now, you will often see that the mean arterial pressure equation that we use when calculating different examples, we use this equation, mean arterial pressure equals to cardiac output times total peripheral resistance. Now, where is the central venous pressure in this main equation? Oftentimes, this is so close to zero that we don't even bother with the central venous pressure. So this is the more common use of the mean arterial pressure equation. Now, what if I say, how can we calculate mean systemic blood pressure? Now, the mean systemic blood pressure is, again, the same as one cardiac cycle plus central venous pressure because mean, mean is the average, the average systemic. The whole system blood pressure is going to be cardiac pressure plus venous pressure or arterial pressure plus venous pressure. Again, it's going to be the same equation as cardiac output times TPR. Again, we are not really bothered about central venous pressure because it's very small. We're not going to be worrying about something that's small, so small that it's not really going to change our mean systolic blood pressure number. So that's why we usually don't use a central venous pressure in our equation. In a way, you can think about um, you know, the, the, the physics equation that we have here. Pressure equals to flow times resistance. So depending on what the flow is and what the resistance is, we're going, that's the pressure we are going to get. So in this, in this analogy, the flow is the cardiac output, the resistance is the total peripheral resistance, and these two values is, will determine the pressure. So our main concern is pressure, not really whether it's mean arterial or mean systemic pressure. Okay, so that's one equation for mean arterial pressure. Another common example that we often use is the two-thirds of diastolic pressure plus one-thirds of systolic pressure. So that is also a commonly used equation on USMLE uh, on mean arterial pressure.